Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Rising Hell, a vertical-based action platformer roguelite that is out now in 1.0. Happy to check out a roguelite that is out. <laughs> We're going to pop in. There's Conquest Gauntlet. I don't freaking know. Rising Click the one on the left. Hell. Oh, my God. Rising Hell. <laughs> There's something so old school about the the voiceovers there, like they're they're like low quality but kind of like on purpose. I think as far as like the the processing goes for it. Uh, but alas, we got agony level one. This music is wild <laughs> as well. We got agony level one, redemption mode. I don't know what any of this garbage means right now. I imagine it's just things to add to replayability in the future select your run and again we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it oh my God. <laughs> okay so here we go i mean pixel art looking pretty nice here uh the bearer of hell's bane also possesses the demonic art called Hellbreak. okay something about jumping i mean you know how does one jump? You would think with the uh, controller. Okay, well, there's your problem, man. We don't have it. We're playing with a PlayStation controller. I guess it did not properly map it. Okay. All right. Well, boy, howdy. We'll, we'll figure out interact, sure, attack, sure. I'm assuming that that is all going to work. What on, what on hell? Somebody broke the gate again. Bear the Hell's Bane possesses a demonic art called the Halo Break. Okay. Do we kill that guy? Wait. We kill the tutorial guy by landing on him? Is that what just happened there? Okay. All right. I see. I see. Furious. Apparently, I am furious right now. Infernal Claw. There is a lot happening. This seems like kind of maybe a almost a little bit more arcade style of a roguelite. I don't know if it's going to be maybe like a little bit more of a short term kind of a kind of a run like a score attack or what's with it. But it looks like we have uh when we do our double jump, we automatically do an, an extra attack it seems like. So this is our basic attack there. Oh. Okay, so on our third attack, we are always going to be doing that there. It looks like. So that is pretty nice. Okay, do we have a run? Could have sworn I saw a dash. There is indeed a dash. There's not, yeah, there's like no tutorialization or something, which, you know, to an extent, I would say. I'm, uh, I'm four. I've played a lot of tutorials recently. So I don't mind getting to kind of skip that process a little bit. But, uh, yeah, it's very, very archaic. I'm sorry, I turned it down. Uh, or not archaic, arcane, as far as what we're supposed to be doing here. Uh, just move forward, kill, I, I guess. Okay, so these guys we got are a little bit spikier. We can jump on them. It's almost giving me kind of like downwell vibes in the sense of like, but like reverse. It's up well. Up well, but we still can, you know, kill enemies by jumping on top of them. Let's get that. Okay, so where? how do we get that spin? I guess we apparently, we can't do it from the ground. It seems like it might be kind of related to some kind of combo. Is that what's up there? Very much a, a learn by doing not by telling kind of a game. All right, what do we got? We have soul trade. We have 130. Increases red souls gained from the trickster's treasury by 175%. You've told me what none of this means. So, okay. Uh, red gems, I red souls, I assume, are the currency. Trickster's treasury, I don't freaking know what that means. Uh, increases the att attraction radius for red and green souls. Attack damage by 20% for each 10% missing life. Eh? Reroll. Cost... Does it actually cost zero, or does it say we have zero? Yeah, we have zero. Okay. Uh, fine. I'll, I'll get the attraction radius up. Attraction radius is up. The abyssal stake. So we can't go up any further any other way. All right, here we go. Total score, 571. Yes, yes, sir. Sure. I don't. I, I'm gonna assume that that's bad. 
All right, so we have our we have our normal dodge there. Hold on. Whatever that was didn't seem good. I didn't want to go for it. There we go. It seems like jumping on top of heads is a very, very effective technique in this. What is happening with this demon baby? Okay. Happy to jump on his head when he is doing his, uh, his big old dash thing. All right. Step back. So it looks like we maybe even do like a little bit of a hit stun when we smack an enemy. Get out! Baby angry! <laughs> Weird baby's angry. Yeah, you know what? It's, it's kind of just like a, uh, it seems like a high action. What is up here? Okay, so these are just things to kill, I guess. High action. Is there no down? Like, can you not go down? Interesting. I mean, like, I think that that might be on purpose. But, like, down and to jump does not do anything. You can't... So I think that that might actually be kind of like a, a thing. Trying to really just encourage that you're always going upwards. Almost maybe introducing like a like a slight puzzle element to when do you want to decide to go up? You know, you might be locking yourself out of something. Vault of Avarice. I can imagine that this is something where we're going to go in and, uh, you know, try and get ourselves some extra money at the potential risk of our life. Do we get like some kind of combo for maybe getting a, a bunch of enemies before hitting the ground perchance? Okay, Shocker Claw. All right, is there a way where we can figure out what it does? So we have Soul Catcher. No? I guess not. Guess not. Out we go. So this is like reopen. Okay, well we can tell what it does now because it's quite very, quite very clear. Regenerate life. I guess when. It was, uh, Shocker Claw was the explanation of what it does, which seems to be, like, a major chain reaction kind of a deal, which I'm into. Okay, well, that, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. That little chain right there made me, uh, I'm into it. I'm into it now. For each talent you have, decrease the cost of talents by 2.5. I don't know what you mean. Uh, increase your green soul drop rate if you, when you have 50% of your max life or less. So I guess green souls are HP. Increases green soul drop rate. I don't know. We'll go for it. Am I like, I, I've not missed a level up to spend talent points or anything on, right? I don't think so. I do not think so. To the Hecatomb or the Pounder Gallows. I have no clue. Kind of like maybe a, like a Dead Cells-esque kind of splitting path system, potentially. Three points off of having the uh, only the best of scores. All right. Get him. All right, all right, all right, all right. We got some spikes here now. We don't have, like... So, hold on. Okay, so our, uh, our wall jump is strictly straight up and vertical. Not bad, not bad. Vault of Avarice. I don't know. If it's a challenge, I'll take it. If that's what it's supposed to be. Ah, yes. Come on. Thank you. That attack seems pretty decent. Whoop. I love that every enemy is also just like a stepping stone. It's really like, first and foremost, they are used to get yourself higher up. Seems to be the case. Oh my god. Which I guess could be a problem in some areas. Okay, so that's not a platform for us. Okay, well I'm up here. Raging Soul. Whenever you take damage, increases your attack power by 50%. 7% chance to restore life based off damage dealt. Last attack combo deals double damage. I don't know, let's get a little bit of health. That seems like a good thing to get for somebody who's kind of newer. And newer I am. Hell's Furnace. I'm just so curious. I feel like I feel like these walls are here very specifically so we can't get up. But I'm curious. I feel like you might be able to cheat your way up there. Bump, 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 bump. Hello there. Are you... Are you the hint guys? 
Never go upwards since Lord Ifrit and his anger at his, his head is anger state right now. Don't look confused. You can feel the heat too, you know? I suggest you never... I mean, thanks for the souls. Bloody hot here. All right. Oh, come on. The, the fact... When they have their spikes out, it's just so, like, so dinky. Okay. Infernal Claw. Dash out. So it looks like we maybe replaced our uh, our shocking claw. It's not like a get both kind of a situation. Dash our way out. I feel like we're doing just fine here. Dash out. Whoop. Not too bad, not too bad. 20%, don't mind if I do. Is that... Okay, I thought that circle was uh, where an enemy was going to spawn for whatever reason. Rest in uh, hell. Dead fire achievement. Okay. Man, there's just so... <laughs> this is so much being thrown at you. It's very fast-paced in, in its, like, presentation. Everything about the game is, like, trying to be, like, self-contained. Action, action, action. But then there is this, like, momentum break here in the shop for sure. Attack power by 1% for every 25 souls. Four enemies within seven seconds restores life. Red souls gain. I'm a trickster's treasury. I don't know what that means. So. All right. So this is basically like money equals power. Oh, well, I wanted to. All right. I wanted to read his stuff, but no, actually, I, uh, I wanted to kill. If it's not clear. Every time I jump on an enemy's head, it automatically attacks. And everything is an enemy. Dagon, the false judge. Wait, wait, we're just like straight up into another boss already there? Okay. Okay. Interesting. What is our... What the hell is our... What is our attack window? What is happening, man? Okay, it seems like maybe we're on to kind of like the attack phase now. I think so that's probably uh, the idea. 69. Maybe we just leave it there. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're good. Get in there. Get in there. Can shoot out another, I assume. Okay, so that's just okay. So this shocker claw thing is very—it's a temporary deal. That's the idea. Okay. That screen is like flashing white, and I'm thinking I'm getting hit, but I'm not. That's when I'm getting hit. That red. Okay, we're on the uh, the baby spawning part. We're getting our health back, so we're all good. Okay. Deal. Can shoot at another. Yep. A third? Yeah, that attack, it, like, the way the screen looks, it looks like we're taking damage. Alright. Get on in. 9%. No, oh, that attack just, like, it just comes out. Okay, don't be greedy. Yes, he's at 4%. Now we can be greedy. Abyssal Outlaw has been slain. Okay. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Chapter end. Okay, World 1, the Pit of Torment. A rank. Okay. I had no idea what was, what was happening for the most part, but I got an A rank, so I must be doing okay. Bonus 100 souls, restore life, bonus 3 blight. Let's take this. Get ourselves a little bit of extra damage, if nothing else. Okay. Hello there, weird hand. I mean, like, we have to get in melee range, but sometimes just the attacks from these enemies come out so immediately that they don't really lend themselves well to a character that only has a melee attack. I'm finding it hard to believe that we can't go down, but I really... Oh, so there's the trickster's treasury. 
No, I don't want to go up. Oh. All right. You have no choice but to up once you start. Okay, so we are probably going to die. Nice. I like that. Good. So we can spend money or we can keep it to do more damage. Decreases all damage taken by 50% when you have 50% life or less. That seems kind of stupid strong. That seems like wildly strong. 50% damage reduction when below 50%. I will take that and I will keep the rest. Not that I really have that much of a choice. Uh, Hollow Gutter or the Nether Venom Stock. To the Nether Venom Stock. There's a lot of branching paths here. A surprising amount of them. Toxic, wait, what was that? Toxic resist. Toxin resist. I see. Well, we're probably going to die here. We have to we have to move and move fast. Which is tough when some of these things I <laughs> some of these things are doing damage to us on contact and I can't even see what they are. Soul multiplier. Okay. I mean, we have to move, otherwise we're just going to die. Okay, there it is. There's our exit. Alright, can we get some kind of, like, instant heal? 50% chance to restore your artifact weapon energy, which I can only assume is the temporary, the temporary attack upgrade. I'm hoping that this increases our current life, too. It does! Nice. It's worth it, then. Chamber of the Sentinels. All right, let's go die here. Let's go die over here instead. All right. Good chain react. Action. Oh. I want me some lifesteal. Uh-oh. Dimos and Phobos. Okay. I mean, I can see that attack coming out. Whoa, look at this. Look at this blade thing we have there. Yeah, one of these is chasing me down. The blades, okay. We're at 10 HP. We're probably not long for this world at this moment. Yeah, so his is the one that chases me down. Yeah, the fact that you can't go down through platforms. Like, I get it as, as far as, yeah, in the, ba in the base game, like, it really wants to be moving upwards. But in this boss fight, ouch, that's, yeah, we really have to keep that in mind. Ugh! See, like, I wanted to go down, but I can't. Okay. Okay. Lure it. This one's almost dead. Nice. Do we make you angry now? Oh, he has a different attack. But he's dead. Okay. Well, hey. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself for getting that done there. What is happening up here? I, th I thought that looked like a plus. Like a health plus. Four enemies in seven seconds. Restores four life. Oh, boy. Alright, there we go. We could re-roll, but isn't that the same, like, stuff we use for meta unlocks? I think so. Oh, boy, they both... They both sound so pleasant. Pestilence Garden or the Corrosive Gutter. They both sound like such a... Such a romp. Okay. So, yeah, this spike deals damage on contact. Super tough to tell, like, just in the... In the moment here. Since it blends in with the walls so well. Okay. Oh, Vault of Avarice. We can go, but we need to be careful. Annihilator Claw. Okay. Oh, what's this? What is this? Am I missing something?
I can't do anything with it. Can I do anything with this? No? What's the point of this room, then? That, that really looks like a thing to interact with. But it's not proving like a... proving to be one. Okay, so we can actually kill these, which is good. Alright. Oh, okay. Heal me up inside. Oh! Uh-oh, toxin, re toxin resist. I think we might need to uh, kill everything in this room first, right? Before we can leave. Is that the, uh, the gist of it? Yeah, that seems to be the, uh, the idea. All right. Still alive somehow. No slipping on the wall and allows you to execute Hellbreak on enemy inside radius by pressing attack button. All right. Wait, do we only get one? We do only get one. Gotcha. Okay, so yeah, the, those little things in the uh, the shop, they, they have the same kind of like pedestal as uh, that one area did. Oh, hello, Beelzebub, Lord of the Moths. Is it going to be you? Or are you going to do it to me? Oh, well. There's that. I see the line. Oh, I can't I can't stop myself in the middle of the attack. This What can I say? I'm a I'm an Oh, I'm an attack man. Let's go. I right, well, okay. What yeah, once you lock yourself in, you kind of like it really homes you in. I mean, obviously, you no, know, it's helpful. But also it's not at the same time. I can't get up higher. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we had, I, I went crazy on it because I saw his HP was going towards zero. I thought we actually had a chance until I realized he had a second face, like a, like a chump. Wow, this game is uh, this game is wild. We unlocked nothing. <laughs> we unlocked nothing. Really. Okay, but we can pick one of these. Increase artifact weapon attack damage. Decreases artifact weapon energy. Move speed and jump power. Increase your s spike trap damage. Oh, fine. Fine. We'll do one more run here. Spike trap damage. Okay, yeah, this the, like the increased jump power and everything. Movement speed. It feels, uh, it feels great. Yeah, you're... It feels great in a game where, like... It kind of feels like the proper movement speed for this game. The base almost feels like it doesn't, um... So, so slow. It almost feels like it's not, um... Not in line with the kind of, like, core of the game. This, like, fast flow state kind of action. Yeah, this is so much better. So much more, like, appropriate. Hellbreak, uh, red games from the trickster strategy. I don't know, man. We're probably not going to do another run in this episode, so I, I will re-roll when I can. I don't know what this means. What Hellbreak even is. It did not really... Okay, so no slipping on walls could actually become a problem. Okay. I don't remember which one we went to. I don't remember. Probably this one. Oh. Ah, no, we definitely did not. Definitely have, did not go here. Yep, no, we definitely did not go here. Oh my god. I mean, we can stop here for a while now, right? Well, we don't have the money for any of that. Yeah, I don't know if I actually, like, enjoy this uh, wall-grabbing thing. Okay, so they both... They both loop back to this area, am I right? There were two, the two different ones, but they just... They l link back up here. To Ifrit. Okay, to the same boss. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, tried to dash. Whoa! All right, yeah, we kind of just have to like preemptively stop pretty early since that, yeah, you can't cancel, you can't cancel your attacks with movement. So you really, you gotta be available to dodge before he starts charging up his attack. Okay, we got 247, 10 max life capacity, third enemy kill drops 50% more red souls. Let's go for money. Penitentiary Crypt? I don't remember if I've been here or not. Oh, God. You guys are just some of the most annoying enemies. They're just so... They're so small. Whoop. Little devils. Whoop. Get out of there! Okay, there we are. Yeah, that, just like the jumping from above attack is like routinely feeling like one of the better ones for sure. Trickster's treasury. I want to go there. But I don't want to get all this extra free stuff first, right? Oh my god. That sticky wall grab. Oh. Uh, well, where? We actually didn't take damage? Why didn't we take damage? Not complaining. 30 life points for 150 red souls. Yes. Attack damage. Increase the attack damage by 20% for every 10% missing life. I don't know if we have any talents. <laughs> I don't know. Are these talents? Crypto, crypto. Okay. Alright, we're we're shredding. We're shredding. Attack damage by 25% when you have 50% life or more. Hmm. I don't really care about these. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna let's re-roll. Obviously, that's not going to help us out right now, but if we conserve our, our souls, or basically, like, at the end of... We can also look at it as, even if we do spend all of our souls, by the end of the level, we will be doing more damage. Because we will be generating more. Okay, so that means he's going to do that. I see, that's... Such, it's such a dinky little attack by comparison to his others. It looks like garbage garbage weak now i'm not saying it looks bad like the you know the art design of it or anything i'm just saying like the attack looks like it's weak oh my god i don't want to be rolling into the sky there it is yes yeah, they, they move so slow and they're so small it looks like it, the attack is, is nothing oh yep I knew I was going to roll up into that. The good news is we do more damage. Okay. Dash on out. That attack's not too bad either. Here, if we just go keep attacking, we might get hit once, but we'll kill him. We're good. Slying! Gotcha. Okay. Ooh. Chapter end. <laughs> I feel like we went a little bit quicker. A. Hey. Money. Money equals power right now, so why not? Why the hell not? Oh. 
Got free, free souls over here. We gotta make sure we go get them. Oh, sticky wall. Action. We're actually almost dead. Damage just really feels like it kind of just, like, slowly happens to you. Freeze time. Oh. I'm not saying, like, it's unavoidable or anything. It's just, like, it just feels like it just sort of happens. Like, I, I look up at my HP and I'm always, no matter what it is, low or high, I'm always surprised by what I see. When I think it's going to be low, it's actually high. When it's, I think it's going to be high, it's actually low. It's without fail. So I don't know if it's something about, like, hit registry, since everything feels like it's so action-heavy. Uh, bosses have less life, I think. Is what that is saying there. I don't know, yeah, something about the, the hit, hit registry or something like that, where it's just, <laughs> there's so much happening all the time with flashes on the screen that it's hard to tell when it's hits and when it's you destroying an enemy. Like, when are you taking an enemy's life and when is your life being taken? Okay, well, that's so satisfying. All right, well, we can't get that guy now, so we might as well keep on moving. Get that guy out of the way. Get some kind of an upgrade. Infernal Claw! Alright, alright, alright. Okay. It feels like the entire game is centered around Captain Falcon's, like, up smash. Or not up smash, up B, up special. That's what it feels like. Which, honestly, is a satisfying, uh, is a satisfying move to connect with, so sure. I'll re-roll. Sure. That feels like a really good one. Well, first of all, it feels really good in general. Yes, I know we get more damage when we don't spend this stuff, but... Whoop. Good. Boop. Boop. Oh. Infernal Claw, we got it. I want some life back. We got a little bit of life back. <laughs> what is... Hey! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Now, fellas. Oh, God, the stinking spikes. They just really blend in. For a high action game, if you have a high, like, this high of an action game, this fast of pace of everything, your, um, your traps and everything need to visually stand out from the environment by a large amount so that you can keep up the player's pace without there being a visibility and readability issue. And the tr the spikes in some of these zones. In the first zone, they weren't so bad. In this zone, they are they are not readable enough at a like you need to be able to see them when you look off to the screen to the left or something, you know. Just because otherwise, the, you you hinder the pace of the game. I I just want to live. Do we have an extra life? Did we get that now? I think we might have. Queen's hide. Is this a different boss? It's not a boss. It's just a zone. Again, yeah, right there. Those spikes, like, are they are they visible when I get hit? Do I am I like do I see them then? Yes, but like, they need to stand out a little bit more in this zone in specific. Hello, Bale. We did not fight you. Okay, so the mini bosses maybe are picked from a random generation. Okay. Summoning a lot of enemies. Oh boy. Well. Alright. Dash out. What is the hell? What is the rising hell? I'm gonna I think I'm gonna yeah, I think I'm about to die. I am, but maybe I have a resurrection. Okay, we got healed. Sure. I mean, this would be good if it was earlier. Just invincibility duration by one second after taking... This seems crucial for this game. This seems crucial. All right. Beelzebub. Beelzebub. Now we know that there is two, uh, two phases. I feel like we will be a little bit safer. 
this. So far, so fun for stand. Well, yep. Well, I, I'm in my. No, that's the thing. Is if you jump and you touch him, you are you are resigned to be in that spot for a whole second because of the way that the like kind of like lock on grabbing does work. Oh, see, like I jump, I jump, so I'm going to be there. All right. Can't move. There we go. I don't know what to do with this information. The spikes on the sky. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this. Is... Oh. <laughs> that is frustrating. Oh, what a frustrating way to go. Spikes on the ceiling. Okay, I see. Fair enough. Understandable, understandable. Rogue Fiend. Phantasma. Agony level one. Redemption mode. You have three chances of redemption. One is reduce every time you die, decrease the amount of experience and blight gain. Does not... Okay, so you can play on, like, easy mode, basically. Easy mode does exist if you so choose. All right, we'll, we'll go one more, and I guess we're going to... Nah, you know what? It just I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop back out. I am going to go with the uh, additional jump and movement speed. Even though yes, we um we died to the spikes. Maybe that's you know. All right, you know what? I am gonna keep this because if the spikes are gonna be that uh, that tough to to visualize. Oh my God, we're so slow. Am I? Am I crazy, or does it feel like the, the base movement speed does not match the pace of the game? Whoop. Feels like it really wants to be a fast action game. In the fact that, like, it lets you skip basically everything. It lets you kill the tutorial characters. You know? Just, like... So this base movement speed just feels a little slow. To me. I don't know. For the for what the game's going for. Soul Multiplier. I'm assuming it's only going to last for a little while. So let's just keep on moving. We have an onslaught going right now. Yep. All right. So does the onslaught slot onslaught stay? <laughs> Third enemy kill drops more souls. Getting that right away. Does it stay while we're in the shop? No, it, it straight up goes away. Goes away. Okay, blast them. Avarice, it is my uh, my middle name. Oh boy. Well, we could kill that guy or we could just try and move towards the exit here. Is that just that it gives us a lot of souls? Is that is that the, uh, the, the thing there? Oh, okay, fair enough. Might as well just... Damage boost my way up there. God dang it. Dumb man does dumb thing more at 11. Alright. I'll do more damage. I'll do more damage. Suggest you never go upward. Goodbye. Aww. Oh, he, he just says aww as he dies. Okay. Ifrit. Hello again, Ifrit. What is the timer on your attack here? I don't I don't know, but I feel like that means we have a Whoop! We had a little bit of a time to go get in there and attack. Felt like it. Yes, sir. Okay, here comes the bouncing blade. Alright, we got him, we got him, we got him. Dang, we are uh we are a force of destruction. More so than normal. Again, since this this for real will be the last run we do in this uh, video, let's just go for this step here. Uh, attack power for every 25 souls. Sure, maybe we'll actually hold on to souls now. <laughs> maybe for real this time. Trials of the Necropyre. 
I do like how there are all of these different little types of uh, rooms here that have their their unique names to them, and they have their own, you know, oh, their own challenge that is kind of like, it's a fixed challenge in a randomly generated situation, I think. Sure as hell feels like it. Oh. Don't have a lot of, uh, okay, a lot of vertical clarity here. We're supposed to jump high, but we don't have, <laughs> can't see up high. There we are. Oh, that chain react was nice. Well, that guy just wanted out. It's kind of just like, I hope that I'm not jumping into an enemy. And for the most part, I'm not. It seems like it is relatively designed in the way where we were. But. All right. Dang, this game's neat, though. Game is neat. We don't have a lot of money. I feel like uh, we'll just go. Tribunal of the Wretches. It's Dagon again. Okay. Dash out. Okay. Another one of those. I guess this, I think that's like our time to attack, right? And I'm assuming the Shocker Claw gives us extra damage as well. At the very least, it's nice to have it during that, um, the time where there's all the extra adds. Yep. Yeah, that, that's good. Because we can, we can go for the damage on him without having to worry about sacrificing damage uh, on these, uh, these extras. That was clean stuff. Oh my god, that was good. That was good. Don't call him king of games for nothing. That was dirty. Chapter end. I want to just beat Beelzebub and call it. Oops, I didn't even see what we ended up getting there. I do like that you can pick the meta currency there if you're really, like, on the hunt for um, getting stronger between runs. I, didn't even, I don't even know if it's stronger. It didn't look like any of them necessarily make you more powerful as much as it is variety, which is my preferred level of uh, meta progression in a roguelite. I will be real. I, I like unlocking variety. Because it also helps to trickle in information so you're not getting overwhelmed uh, too much in a row. And this is a very overwhelming game. So any limitation... Uh, oops, I did not mean to actually go up. Any limitation of... You know, the, the, the information being trickled in is going to be beneficial for this game for sure. Since it throws a lot at you right away without, you know... And I think it's fine. As mentioned, it's, it's just there's a couple ways to do tutorials or introductions to games, and it's just like either super handhold or just be like, this is it, go. Maybe there was a tutorial and I missed it too, but like, it is relatively self-explanatory based off of it, informed by the oops, informed by the gameplay itself. So I kind of I kind of feel like yeah, the game might speak better without a tutorial. Like, there's a couple things like the. Uh, this crazy red boy mode that we activate. I probably, if there was a tutorial that explained that, that might be a good thing. Oh, well. Okay, so that that guy is dead when he starts flashing. He just, he's going to then explode is the deal. Whoop. Slap. Yeah, if we don't want to rise, we got to make sure we slap. Then we miss explode dealing enemy <laughs> damage to nearby enemies. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll refresh and then we'll go. Ooh. It's kind of fun. Kind of fun. Not going to help us with Beelzebub. Also, it's like, I'm just realizing now, how much does damage matter when we kind of one-shot everything? I guess... It helps us with these bosses. Belleth, the Tainted. Not fought you, though. 
Okay, there is that, like, goop on the ground there. Where am I? Okay. Trying to dash through it as best I can. Uh, uh, not, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm trying to use the, uh, like, kind of weird magnetism of the character to get myself to, oh my god, dodge that way? This has gone bad. So that's the thing. The character, they, they magnetize in to the enemies, which is both, which is good. But also, in that situation, it can be bad. All right, goodbye damage, hello healing. If we can get ourselves above 50%, we get damage back again anyways, so maybe there's that. And again, like, we kind of are one-shot, we one-shot everything. The only time damage matters is the bosses. Seems to be the case. Well, I'm gonna die. Yep. Like, oh, I got a heal, I got a heal, that's nice. Oh, we got another heal. Hey, let's go. We're going to need to make sure we move, but there's just a lot of potential for heals from those. Okay, let's go. We got to go, we got to go. I don't know if we just immediate die when the toxin resist hits zero or what. Okay, so we, we could restore it a little bit there. All right, we're good. All right. Oh, it's Beelzebub again. Well, <laughs> we don't have a we don't have a resurrection. We'll see. Okay. Moo! I can't. I can't. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Move. Okay. I, yep, I... That's just... The, the attack uh, goes on so long. My attack goes on so long. But you gotta be really preventative with your... Do I can't get up there in time. Preventative with your dodges rather than... Uh, reactionary. You can't be reactionary, really. Like... It helps a little. But. Yep, bip, 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 bip. Oh, come on! <laughs> Three phases? Screw you. All right, well, that's that. That's going to do it for today for Rising Hell. Oh, boy, you can pick it up right now on Steam. It is a one of the rare roguelikes that is out now in 1.0. It feels like yeah, it is an uncommon thing. It, there's a lot of, I will say, it's a very unique feeling roguelike. It's going for a completely different pacing and, uh, and tone than a lot of others. It's kind of like arcade-y. Uh, it kind of... It's like an expansion of the vibe of Downwell in the sense of, like, it's a more compact experience, kind of a feel of a thing where it is a much quicker pace in its combat. You don't really have, like, you don't have to aim. Things die in one hit. It's very momentum-based. I think, yeah, momentum-based more, more than speed-based. Uh, that's the thing. Is, yeah, the character, it feels, weird, like, weirdly slow for how momentum-based it feels like it is trying to be. But... As far as, like, a, a, a roguelike, new roguelike goes, it, uh, well, new in 1.0 as of last month, uh, roguelike goes, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I, I think that there's some people out there that are going to see this and they're going to be like, this is everything to me. Thank you so much for showing me this. This speaks to me on a spiritual level. Uh, and for me, I liked it a lot, but I don't, you know, I, I think that there's, you know, it's just not my, my pace as much as I, as, as others. I kind of enjoy the more 
of having like the extra tactical stuff of being a little bit more slower paced but having it be more clear what's going on <laughs> on this on the screen and everything and i'm sure as you play more you would understand that uh, a little bit better of course but the world's cool the art is cool music is <laughs> very thematic and bumping i like the in-game run music more than i like the menu music though personally but either way the in-game run is the stuff you're gonna hear all the time so it doesn't really matter there but alas alas I, I really I really liked it. That is what I would say. That's that's a compliment. It is it just I wanted to make sure I say that just in case it seemed like I didn't enjoy it. I really liked it. I think there's going to be people out there who love it though, who aren't me. Uh, so that's that. That's gonna do it for today. Check out the ch channel Roblox Board every single day. If you like this genre, I will show you all kinds of new ones all the dang time. You'll have so many you won't know what to do with them. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.